Good afternoon YouTube. I know I'm making a mistake by planning this video, but you know, it, it, it happens. Anyway, I was going to fish the place where we did the couple of videos for Mule Fishing Supply Company, which will be linked in the description somewhere. But anyway, we got a cold front coming through and it's nice and warm and partly cloudy today. And I didn't think nothing about the water getting all nasty and muddy from it raining all day yesterday and last night. But yeah, it's nasty and muddy. But we're going to fish this little pocket right here and try to catch some bait. And since we're in the outside bend of this river or this section of the river, we usually have better luck. Planning a video usually screws that up. I'm going to get some rods rigged up, get down here and hopefully catch some bait because we really need that. All right, I went ahead and placed my rods where I want them at. We've got quite a bit of current today, so I'm using the six ounce sinkers, which is very rare for me. I never use sinkers that heavy, but these are just Mad Cat rods. They're seven foot mediums. This one here on the right is the Micah Burkhart rod that was designed for him when he caught his first uh, Tennessee state record catfish in 2023. And the one on the left is a Mad Cat Bolt. Um, there's the same rod besides the paint color, and that's the thing with Mad Cat rods. A lot of people ask which one's the best, when you this, that, and the other. They're all the same. Paint scheme doesn't change anything. It's just a color variation for their marketing. But they've got medium lights, mediums, medium heavy, and then heavy power rods. The paint schemes don't change anything. I just like the bright colors because bright colors. I kind of wish I had got some night crawlers or something, but I didn't. Honestly, couldn't tell you when the last time was that I used night crawlers, but I'm just going to throw around a little Bobby Garland, see if we can catch anything that could be used as bait. Ooh, we got something decent here. What we got? Hey, is that what I think it is? Nope. Eh, you are borderline keeper. And I ain't got my measuring stick down here with me, so I'm not going to risk it. But it counts. Now, crappie are illegal bait in Tennessee. It's just kind of sketch because it's a game fish, but thing is if it meets minimum length requirements to keep it's yours to do what you want with but crappie not going to use it as game or bait even though bait or crappie are legal as bait in tennessee a lot of people want to argue with that but they are legal as bait even bass are if it meets the minimum length requirements to keep it it's yours to do what you want with now being a game fish if the game wardens want to check it make sure it was the or meets the requirements you have to have the carcass which means you're only really able to use the fillets as bait and nobody wants to use a good fillet as bait when they could fry it. Ooh, you came out of nowhere. What are you? You're another crappie. There's been reports of some white bass running up this way, but I haven't seen any myself, but really, who knows? Well, that's our first snag and break off today. Let's see what all I got here. What I just brought a little Altoids 10 or 10 down here to catch some bluegill and whatever with because that bag over there on the bank weighs about 25 30 pounds with all my catfishing crap in it all right do we have our first piece of bait we do and i kind of want to put you on live but i don't know Actually, I need to get a picture real quick. You would uh, give me two decent cuts of bait. Hmm. 
and I would like to catch something larger than you. So we're just going to say screw it and put you on live and hope for the best. Actually, this hook is a little bit small for this fish. But we'll make it work. By the way, these reels are, are Piss of Fun Chaos 60 reels. In my opinion, one of the best bang for the buck reels because that's a lot of 40 pound mono. They cast really good. They're at a really good price point and they will hold up. All right, let's see if it's going to drift any. No. I am going to set that drag pretty loose and put that bait clicker on. That way if something takes it or grabs it and takes off with it, I don't know. It won't feel any... Wow, that is a big old tree floating down the river. But it won't feel the resistance as much. Hey, what do we have here? I didn't even feel this one bite. A little crappy. Purdy fish. Let's get that one back. Skadoosh. And I'm using a color I normally don't use in muddier water. Just a little black trout magnet. I mean, dark colors work just as good in muddy water as, as you know chartreuse and white and other brighter colors i mean it's really just a confidence thing i prefer using brighter colors but it doesn't hurt to have other options and do i have more bait i do little bitty bluegill you'd be perfect for that six salt so Let's get you off and get you on a hook. All right. Let's see if that one's going to drift any. Yeah, that one's drifting, unfortunately. another gill you know I ain't done hardly any catfishing in the last year and a half and it still never fails I'm constantly looking at my rods just waiting instead of paying attention to what I'm doing with right there right here Finally, I've been casting, like there's a little stop right here and a stump right over here. And I've been casting in between them on the opposite side of them, getting bites and missing them. Except for this one. We caught that one. Yeah, we finally got something. The gilkin. That was an accident. Well, at least we're catching fish. I mean, they're not the fish that I want to catch, but at least we're catching fish. Finally, I've been casting like there's a little stop right here and a stump right over here. 
and I've been casting in between them on the opposite side of them getting bites and missing them except for this one we caught that one Now that one dropped it and came back for it. <laughs> this is a TFO light power rod that I'm using here. It feels so much like an ultralight. Like even this little bluegill felt good on this thing. I decided to have me a little seat over here on this rock because sliding around in that mud over there was getting kind of uncomfortable but this is really what deters a lot of people from getting into catfishing a lot of times it's a lot of this just sitting around and waiting or in this case you know fishing for something else just to just to pass the time which anytime I go out catfishing, I've got another rod with me to play around with and try to catch bait or, you know, catch something else to pass the time. That's nicer. What are you? And you are more than likely going to be bait. Actually, I want to, I want to get that hook out of you before I lose you, but white bass, really good eating, really good bait. And this right here is about perfect size for cut bait. So you're going to uh, go over here in my bucket for the time being. That truck drive by while I'm fighting this this beast about needed three barrels for that one what do we got here this one feels pretty good but then again on this tfo rod everything feels good beast that one only needs two barrels and my eyes are playing games on me because every time i kind of sort of see my rods out of the corner of my eye it looks like they're they're jumping like something's on it gotcha <sighs> this one only needs one barrel That feels pretty good. But then again, this rod. Yellow bass, you would make really good bait. And guess what? You are. Well, I was about to pull that one up just to recast and Mr. Slab decided to come get it. 
All right, spasm. Pretty little fish. I thought I reeled into a stick for a second there, but then that stick started pulling back. I think we're going to give it about another 30, 45 minutes tops. And then call her quits because those two rods ain't been touched yet. And yeah. We'll just have to try again some other time. You know, winter's gonna be coming to an end, not, not too far off. And I'm not going to be catching these things nearly as much. So, I'm going to take my, take my crappies whenever I can get them. Why? Why couldn't some big old nasty catfish or striper just pay me a visit one time? Anyway, I'm calling it quits. Bites kind of died down and I think pretty much all the fish in this tiny little puddle have been caught um but this is one reason why i didn't really do a lot of catfishing in 2023 besides the fact that it was hotter than the backside of satan's nutsack all summer but anyway that's part of it you're not going to catch what you go out to catch every single time you go out we're going to start doing a little bit more catfishing since winter's still going on because i want to get me a winter catfish and i want to do me a catfish catching cook Hope y'all like the video. Fun fact, this very photo was taken from this exact spot. Nature's pretty.